All right, here we go, guys. Subscriber trip time, 6 a.m. We're leaving uh, the harbor. We got Jesse, who won the comment, and we'll, we'll talk about that story. We got Jay from Connecticut. We had a third winner who never replied to two comments. People, check your comments if you're gonna enter these things. Jesse, tell everyone how, how we met and the comment you left, although we've never met in person yeah. until today. Um, so long story. Without mentioning the spot, because Without I didn't film spot, that no day. No so, um, I have a house in Orient and I do a lot of fishing out here. And um, I had seen um, these guys out fishing for blackfish in a certain spot um, earlier in the, the day. And I was doing a night trip for bass. And as I was pulling out, a buddy of mine from out here who I know, um, who's a diver said, hey, um, I just found a, a rod and reel while diving at the spot. Do you know who it belongs to? And he showed it to me and I said, I have no freaking idea who it belongs to. Why the hell would I know, right? He figured because he sees me, you know, I fish a lot, I would know who it was. Yep. So I went home, we went out, we, we killed it that night. We did really well um, and came back. Um, next morning I woke up and I remembered that I had seen you fishing out there. Um, at, right at the spot where he found the rod and reel um, and I had I had my buddy who found it send me a picture of it and it was a, a setup that having watched all your videos I suspected belonged <laughs> to you and knowing where it was found um, so I gave you a ring well I sh started by shooting you an email yep. and then we talked on the phone and, um, and turned sure out enough, it was yours it was. And I had a customer who uh, it had a big blackfish on the end of that line and he he was trying to get over somebody else to fight it and the fish took a huge run and literally ripped the rod out of his hands so it's a, it's a minor miracle basically it really is like, and, and you made that comment and i said i'll know the comment when i see it <laughs> and that was the comment so you're the comment winner jay was randomly chosen and then a third winner that uh, never responded we're going to try a little of everything today the, the reports on fluke are still terrible but we're gonna give it a, at least a little bit of a try. We're also gonna try for weak fish, but our first target I think is gonna be striped bass. So we'll check in in a minute. We're gonna go do that first. All right, here we go guys. And you saw in the beginning, this is the subscriber contest trip. 220 entries. I put in Google random number generator, 209, 93. We went back to the spreadsheet where I painstakingly entered all unique 220 names and Julie S was number 93. Uh, she never replied or he never replied if it was a, a dad or a husband using somebody else's account. C and J fishing, that's J. He did reply. He was the other winner. And you heard the little funny story between Jesse and I about, you know, he was the winner that I picked, the third winner I said I'd pick just based on a comment and I couldn't articulate what the criteria for that comment would be. All I knew is when I saw it, I'd know it and here's Jesse's comment. He's reminding me, he's the guy that reached out to me after one of my clients lost a rod and we had a great time, great trip, great guys. Thank you to everyone who entered. Thank you to everyone who watches these videos and this was a mixed bag trip. We're gonna go with stripe. We're gonna start with striped bass. We're gonna move on to weak fish, and we're gonna end the day with fluke, including thank the good Lord, our first keeper fluke of the of the year. So without further ado, here we go with the stripers. J and R using spoons, and Jesse, who's a, a a sharpie when it comes to striper fishing, is snap jigging. Oh, good job. Two on. I got a spoon ready if you want it. Ah, oh, mine dropped. Yours too? Oh, he hit it again. <laughs> we go back down. Ah, there you go. And you're not going to lose him with the bucktail. You lose a lot with the spoon. Oh, you lost. Oh, it. Oh. Jay, you want to take this and I'll help. Uh, not, not that he needs help, I know. Well, I'll let Jay use this. Go ahead. Same setup. I want to get this on film anyway. Feels good? Yeah, it feels decent. So, Jay, you might want to just let out some line because. must be bluefish bigger than I'm thinking. Nope, that's a bass. And the bluefish wouldn't have ripped it there. He might have taken you into the rocks and cut the braid. Right. You got it? Looks like a slot fish. 
What do you think of the new regulations? I'm a proponent of the new regulations. Anything that saves the 2015 is good by me. Cool. I'm indifferent because I don't keep any. <laughs> I don't keep any either, but it's other people are keeping them. And hey, I give Jesse a lot of credit. He feels strongly about not keeping the fish and supporting that new striper regulation. We'll have more about that in a future video. Um, snap jigging is working and you'll see we reset on the drift and Jesse's into another fish. Today, Jay. I'm on. <laughs> oh, you're on? I'm on, but I can't go up on the stamp. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> I lost it. Still on, still on, still on, still on. All right, two on. Nice, Jay. <laughs> Don't you like that rod, that tsunami rod? Isn't it light? And it's nice. I think it weighs seven ounces, the, the entirety of that rod. I don't know who to, whose fish to look at first. How does yours feel? Better than the first one. Okay. Jay's is up. Jay's is a nice one. Another slot fish. We'll just unhook them. All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is nice. Very nice. Wow. Oh, he swallowed your bucktail. Let's. All right, buddy. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Nice fish. This is a beautiful fish. Yeah. And indeed, it was a beautiful fish, safely released, uh, and the striper action was just heating up. All right, I'm re-rigging, and Jay here decides he's gonna catch a fish on us. <laughs> I got it. That, you know what we call you now, Jay? The vulture. <laughs> Take advantage of the rest of us being out of the water. It's a bluefish? No, a little bass. Little guy, I got him. Let me just tie this knot one second. Done. Let me get the pliers, which are in my pocket. Nice fish. Little guy, little guy. Yeah, I think he was looking. There we go. That a hit? Seaweed? Ooh. I'm on. Good fish. It's coming towards you, unfortunately. Uh, not so good now. That's uh, not bad. Slot fish. On 10 pound test, <laughs> the, the main line. And hey, I got him in the mouth. Oh, you're on. All right. It's a good one. Oh yeah, wow. So what's that rod? Best rod ever made. Um, You're Stella. using my fluke rod? Star Stellar Surf 7.6. Oh, it's a star rod. Yeah, it's a great rod. It does everything. Yeah. It does everything and it's cheap. It's 80 bucks. 80 bucks, huh? Yeah. Maybe we'll put a link in the description. Right, do you still you, make it? Yeah, don't put a link in the description because I need to be able to get them. Oh, I'm okay. Sold out. <laughs> you know, I can make like two bucks off that. Yeah. Taking taking food of food out of my mouth there, Jesse. Need to come around. I can move this shit. Got some bend to it, man. 
And when he's circling like this, What happened? Oh. Wow. It's gotta be a good one. Look at him like, it is a good one, dude. Nice fish. Nice fish. What uh, pound test is this? 30. Okay. So we'll, we'll lip them. Oh, yeah, good call. There we go. There nice go. fish. Nice one. Got him? Yeah, I got him. And we hooked into a few more bass, but hey, uh, we were going to do a mixed bag. We said that at the beginning, so it was time to move on to the weak fish grounds. I got the net here if that's a weak. So Jay's on something good. Yeah, it's 25 pounds. A 25 pound what? Oh, it's a nice week. Okay, in the net. All right, good job. Oh, look at look how thick they are down there. So that is what they look like. Big bladder marks. And a couple people on the last video commented, how can you tell when you have weak fish on your finder? That's how you can tell those huge, their, their air bladders are huge and they show up nicely on the plotter. And it did not take long. I, as I'm showing this, Jesse hooks up to a nice one. Look, look I am not a snob. I, I like Dude, this one has some weight, huh? You want a net? I snagged it. Oh, you snagged it. Ah, oh, it's a nice one though. Oh no, I got it in the mouth. It, 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 oh, it, it, yeah, yeah. Squid and then the bucktail wrap. Right but dude, that's that's a twenty plus. Yeah, and nice look one. at the row. Is that the row or that just his tail? I think that might just be. That's his tail. How about you here? He's got a nice one. It was tail hooked a little, or it, oh, dude, let me get the net. This is a big one. Oh yeah. Ah. All right, bring him back. Don't lose this fish, Jay. Oh, you did lose them and you got them snagged now. Oh, no, no, you didn't. It's still in the mouth. All right, we got it in. Cool. Look at this one. Nice. It's got some weight. Nice, nice yeah, yeah, dude. Jeez. Good job, Jay. <laughs> How'd it feel on the you light tackle? Right? Well, you caught two bass. Stop. <laughs> All right. And what I meant there by how does it feel on the light tackle, Jay is using my VRC Jigging Jerks Tog Noodle Rod, uh, affectionately called the Noodle Rod, and it is going to be put to the test shortly when Jay hooks into a monster bluefish while we're weak fishing. Let's get a length on Jay's fish. It's to zero. A hair over 24 inches, I would guess four to five pounds because he's fat, she's fat. And there she goes. What happened? Oh, you got all tangled? Uh, oh, you're on. No? Okay. I thought I was. See that, dude? Caught me on the way down. Yeah, they'll hit on the way down. You'll, you'll be dropping and then you lift and it's on already. Need a hand? See, it's like monkey see, monkey do over there. Bottom is still loaded. Good one? Yeah, I'd say it is. <laughs> Holy cow. He's got a good one on. Maybe two? Take and drag, dude. Let me get the net again. Nice and easy. Oh, you can't even budge him. No. I'll just let him wear himself out. They don't wear out. You might have two. You're listening to this? It's got to be a bluefish. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It isn't. This is one hell of a week. 
Whoa, whoa, watch the engines. Come, come this way, come up closer to the front here. I'll come behind you. We wanna keep them away from those engines. Sorry, Jay. Yeah, it's a blue. It's gotta be a blue. Which we'll net anyway, just to handle him. Oh my God. It's gotta be a gator blue. Come on. Come nah. On. Yeah, he's coming up. Definitely a bluefish. It might be two. <laughs> well, you're doing it perfect. And yours is definitely a weak. You see those big head shakes too. You dropped it? <laughs> you don't have the hook protector on, do you? Probably. <laughs> oh boy, Jay. <laughs> he just doesn't want to stop. Well, this is going to be a big blue. Has to be. But hey, that's the noodle rod you're catching him on. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if you've made any ground on him, to be honest. No, I don't think I have either. Every time I do, he grabs it and takes it back. Come on, baby. Well, there it goes again. Now, you know what ultimate redemption would be if somehow you bring up a 30 pound bass? Although he's not fighting like a bass, so. This is definitely a big ass blue. Has to be. But hey, if it's a 15, 16 pound weak fish, we are gonna be jumping for joy. There he comes. Big blue. Big blue. Big blue. Big blue. On the teaser. Just get him in the net just to spare the rod. And it looks like he took your diamond jig too. Thank you. Yeah, definitely took your diamond jig. Unless he swallowed that too. <laughs> yeah. Normally I would not be happy with a bluefish when we're trying for weak fish or any other species. But the fact that it was caught on my noodle rod, uh, it, it actually made me happy. It, it showed that the noodle rod could handle a big fish that pulls hard and takes a lot of drag. And hey, that's a little Tsunami Evic 2000 with 10 pound test on there. The rod and the reel handled it great. $149 reel, that Tsunami, well worth the money. And we ended the day fluke fishing. And, you know, it's been anyone who's fished the Peconics knows it's been a very tough fluke season. And uh, the last couple of hours of this trip was no different. A lot of sea robins, a couple short fluke. I think we each had one short fluke. Maybe Jay had two. And last drift, right before we called it, the first keeper of the year gets caught. Uh, thank you, Jesse, for taking the skunk off the boat. So I have clients. This is the craziest story in terms of coincidences. One of my clients, uh-oh. Sure? I think so. Well, maybe. Well, we'll just be ready. That's bouncing weird, but bouncing, it but is it two? Uh, I don't think it is. I don't think it is either. So it just got lighter. Did one drop off? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Is my camera on? Oh my goodness! No, it's under the boat. Drive them in, yep. drive them in. You lost them and then foul hooked them. <laughs> it was in his mouth. No, it was definitely hooked right. There you go, John. Oh, a big blowfish. Yeah. Well, that'll keep. No, that's definitely a keeper. That'll keep. That's amazing. What's really amazing, I'm going to slow it down. You had them in his mouth. Yeah. And then I did such a shitty job driving him into the net. You got to drive him into the yeah, net. I yes, know. we'll talk about that later. And here we are slowing it down and you see he's got one hook barely in his mouth. As I'm going to net him, he spits the hook. Jesse did not drive him into the net. We said that, okay, it is what it is. And as he spits that hook, the other hook catches him broadside, 
Fortuitous for us, our first keeper of the season, and man, I don't think I was ever happier to see a slightly over 19-inch fish in my life. Uh, like I said earlier, the skunk is off the boat. Thank you, Jesse, and thank you, Jay and Jesse, A, for your continued patronage. They're both longtime followers of the channel. I'm so happy to be able to give back with these subscriber contests. Remember, if you do enter them in the future, make sure you check the comments to see if you won or not. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.